Joe Fournier may be fighting KSI in January. KSI is set to fight Dylan Dennis on January 14th with the known backup for this fight being 9-0 pro boxer Joe Fournier if Dylan were to pull out. Dylan has recently had a discussion with Chael Sonnen, explaining why he might not go through with the fight, detailing a steep rehydration clause that was put in the contract only two weeks before the fight. I feel like this fight won't happen. I think that they're starting to get scared. They're trying to make like weird things in the contract now, two weeks before. Is it possible that this fight gets canceled? Are you being sincere when you say that? So the fight's at 177. They want me to be weighing at 4 p.m. the day of the fight, only four pounds heavier. And if at every pound that I don't make the weight on the second day, I get a penalty, which is very heavy. KSI's manager Mams Taylor then debunked this, saying that it has been there since Dylan Dennis signed the contract and that there were no issues up until now. With people saying that Dylan was looking for a way out of the fight, Mams posted a picture of Joe Fournier which he quickly deleted, making everyone think that this was now going to be the opponent for KSI in January. Mams then lifted the rehydration clause entirely with KSI to go through with this fight against Dylan at a weight disadvantage. KSI himself has responded to this whole situation, saying that he's ready for Fournier to step in as confirmed by Mams in a recent interview. So, I woke up to a text saying, I guess I'm fighting Joe Fournier. And with laughy faces, he doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. That's the cool thing about him. He didn't even know about these clauses and this and that. So why would Dylan pull out? Numerous people on the internet have given their concerns as to why Dylan may pull out. Dylan is a known troll with a reputation for talking smack about everyone and not necessarily fighting them. This trolling could come to a halt or at least be less credible with a loss to a YouTuber like KSI, which would be embarrassing for his combat sports career that he still has ahead of him. He's only a 2-0 Bellator fighter that plans on returning to the Octagon pretty soon, and with Dylan not showing up to the scheduled press conference, this put doubt that he would show up to the fight at all. Dylan is still set to fight KSI however, but with the rehydration clause controversy being cleared, he seemingly has no excuse to not make the walk. Regardless, Misfits Boxing and KSI have a safety net in case anything goes wrong with the Dylan fight being another fighter and Joe Fournier already fighting on this card against Tony Christodoulou. This means that Fournier will already be ready, have made way, and gone through training camp ready to fight the next day against KSI if need be. The plan for Misfits is that with KSI and Joe Fournier getting a win on the same card on the same day, that sets up the next fight for KSI perfectly, getting Fournier familiar to the audience and being able to build the fight up more. However, as mentioned before, we may be seeing this fight sooner than expected. Joe Fournier is a much more credible opponent than Dylan Dennis within the squared circle, with him being a 9-0 professional boxer with a 100% knockout percentage. Even though his competition has been very poor, we see most boxers do this for their first couple of fights, fighting journeymen to build their resumes before taking on bigger challenges. And along with this, Joe is the same height, weight, and size as KSI, making this an interesting and even matchup on paper. This fight would be the former 39-year-old undefeated pro boxer who didn't make it to a high level in the sport, but had several fights and has been training for a lengthy period of time, going up against the hungry and younger YouTuber who is looking to build his resume and work his way up to get a fight against Jake Paul. Also, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing as it helps out tremendously and it lets me know if you guys want to see more. But back on track, Fournier's last fight was an exhibition against David Hay. That while he lost dominantly, that fight didn't go on his pro record as he gained experience in that fight against a former cruiserweight and heavyweight boxing world champion in David Hay. While this fight wasn't serious with David Hay being a close friend of Fournier's, he still went the distance on a big stage that increased his stock and got his name out there more. Fournier was also seen on the undercard of Jake Paul's first headline fight in 2021, fighting musician Raycon on the undercard of Jake Paul vs Ben Askren. In this fight, he got a second round knockout in his return to the ring for the first time in about 5 years. Since then, it looks like Fournier has been relatively consistent in training, knowing that a big opportunity against one of these influencers could happen pretty soon. Fournier has been calling out YouTubers for a while now, calling out the main three of KSI, Jake Paul, and Logan Paul. And why would Jake want to get knocked out clean by Canelo? We all know that ain't also going to happen, real talk. And what's really confusing is, his brother is best mates with his enemy, KSI. And then KSI fights two people in one night. But KSI, you just needed me, man, because you wouldn't get past the first round and it would be over for you. KSI is the only one who has really taken this call out seriously and lists Fournier as one of the main options for a future opponent. Since Fournier has a solid record, this fight makes sense for KSI to use against Jake Paul, as Jake's main criticism throughout his boxing career is that he hasn't yet fought a pro boxer. While this wouldn't necessarily be one-upping Jake in terms of opponents, it would give KSI the credibility on paper with Fournier having that 9-0 pro boxing record. This fight also looks to have unknowns about it, such as what KSI would look like against the first guy that has actual ring experience, being more of a traditional boxer compared to someone like Dylan Dennis, who specializes in MMA. This is also a big step up from his last opponents, where technically KSI fought a pro boxer in Luis Pineda. But unlike Pineda, Fournier won't just be put in there to lose, and will most likely put up a good fight against KSI, and will give him a good test to see where he's progressed within the sport. 
But yeah, it looks like Joe Fournier is going to be fighting KSI either way, whether as his next opponent a bit later on in 2023 or as a replacement if Dylan Dennis is to pull out. As KSI's manager himself has recently confirmed that he's the backup for this fight and is the most likely next opponent. Now, if he shows up and he fights, great. If he doesn't, we have an excellent replacement. 9-0 record, Joe Fournier. I can confirm that is the replacement. And, um, and that's a really tough night for anyone. The next fight for JJ, um, we've depending on depending on how Joe does. I think that's a really that's a really viable option for them to fight each other. Um, that's a very credible, great opponent for JJ. Um, and then and then you know let's see what happens after that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on the fight between KSI and Joe Fournier. And if you think this is a more competitive matchup than Dylan Dennis. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more.